Alright, this is a the boiler evaporator I made um, to make some syrup this year. Hopefully in a day or two the trees will start running again. We've had a pretty hard freeze for the last week and a half. So, I got probably, I want to say about $300 into this, and all of it was taken up with the stainless steel and the fire brick. Stainless steel I bought was a uh, 16 gauge, uh, 4x8 sheet, or I'm sorry, 4x5 sheet, and um, I had a guy bend, bend it up. Um, for the price of some syrup, so the sheet cost me $125, and I got another 20 bucks in a stainless steel valve, $10 in a stainless steel nipple, and probably $150 fire brick. I don't know if you can see well in here. It's fire brick and rock wall insulating. There's about five and a half inches um, of insulation here on both the side walls, all the way up to the bottom of the pan. I put in secondary air. This is the inlet pipe, and then you can see the, the four pipes that come back to feed the air. Um, into the fire so we get a more complete burn and hopefully I go through less wood this way and that's about all I have um, I did put on some wheels an axle and some wheels and just to move it out of here or in and out of here so when I'm done I can find it a home and I got some steel to place over the top to keep the rain and snow out of it when it's not in use. I just took the window out of my shed and then I'll have a fan mounted up in the ceiling here to blow all the humidity to the outside. And then we can also have this door open as well. So hopefully that'll be enough. And then I got my stove pipe up there, and I got a rain guard that I just picked up yesterday. So, should be ready to cook down some syrup. And this is our preheat pan. I'm going to throw a valve up here today so we can open up and, and drain it into the, into the evaporator pan. So, if you have any questions, please ask. I'm glad to have, um, answer any questions. Thanks.